Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install this update that is KB5064489. So if you go to Windows Update, when you click on Check for Update, uh, you don't see this update over here. In my case, I don't see this update over here. If, if I go to Update History, I don't see the update, this update being installed. So if you don't see any option to install it, then in that case, you can use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to a microsoft website and over here you have to write down the name of the update uh, update name is again it's kb5064489 so type in the name of the update over here and then click on search and over here you can see this this is for server this is for ARM. for me this is the right one windows 11 version 24 h2 x64 based system you can check what kind of system you have you can go to settings go to system scroll down you can go to about over here you will see your system here x64 based processor so for me it's windows 11 version 24 h2 x64 based system so you can click on download and here you can see kb5064489 click on it and let the download complete first now once the download is complete and now you can run this file so click on it this may take a couple of seconds uh, or it may take some time here you can see preparing preparing the installation now here you can see the prompt windows update in standalone installer update for windows this update click on yes do you want to install the following windows software update click on yes this process uh, will take some time now over here you can see the updates are being installed initializing installation so this process will take some time just so let it complete so we here you can see uh, installation complete you must restart your computer for updates to take effect so click on restart now restart is important now after the system restart you can go to windows settings and then you can go to windows update and then you can go to update history and over here you can see this update that is kb5064489 requires a restart to finish installing so you can restart your computer once again and then you can check so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to me